quadrilaterals. So we learned a lot about different quadrilaterals. So now we have to kind of put it all together and we figure out what kind of quadrilateral we have. So that's basically what we're doing with this little short piece here. So what I find helpful is this next little chart here. And it is it, it, it tells us kind of in one place all the different properties. So let's see if we can interpret this. This little symbol here, that's meant to be parallelogram. And I think what I want to do is I want to add another little column for isosceles trapezoid. I think that might be helpful. If you can like put that in there, I know there's not a lot of room. But uh, you know, let's see if we can do this. And, and what we're basically doing is I'm looking at the property, and I want to check the box where it's always true, always, OK? So if I'm looking at the property, all sides are congruent. Is that true for a parallelogram? Always. No, right? We can think of parallelograms where that's not true. What about rectangles? Are all sides congruent always? How about a rhombus? All sides congruent? Yes. What about a square? Yes. What about a kite? What about a trapezoid? A sausage trapezoid? No. So that's what we're trying to do here. So let's see, both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. Is that true for parallelogram? Now, rectangles, rhombuses, and squares are parallelograms, right? So isn't that necessarily true? It must be true that if something is true for a parallelogram, it's got to be true for these three things because they are parallelograms. So if you check this box, you're checking those boxes. What about for a kite? Are opposite sides, both pairs, congruent? I think that's a never, right? That's never going to happen in a kite. What about with a trapezoid? No, never. Because if it is true, you have a parallelogram. So if it's not true here, it's not true for the isosceles, right? How about both pairs of opposite sides are parallel? True for parallelogram. Really? By definition, right? That's what it is. True for that, that means it's true for all my other parallelograms. Is it true for a kite? No. Is it true for a trapezoid? No. Is it true for an isosceles trapezoid? No. no. Exactly one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Only one pair. Is that true for a parallelogram? No. Rectangle, no. rhombus, no. square, no. height? No. no. Is it? Oh, no. Okay. No. No, no. Okay, good no. Trapezoid! Yeah. Yeah. Now, an isosceles trapezoid is yeah. a type of trapezoid. If it's true for that, it's got to be true for the isosceles trapezoid. Right? So that's one pair, only one, one and only one. All angles, that little thing is supposed to be an angle, it's a little hard to read. All angles are congruent in a parallelogram. Always true? No. no. How about a rectangle? Yes. yes. Rhombus? No. Square? Yes. Height? No. Trapezoid? No. Isosceles trapezoid. No. Exactly, meaning one and only one pair of opposite angles are congruent. One pair of opposite angles only. True for parallelogram? No. No, because both pairs are, right? Uh, true for rectangle, rhombus, or square? No. no. What about height? Yes. Right? That's the one where, um, when it looks like this, and these are your like, congruent pieces, it's these two angles are the ones that are going to be congruent. How about a trapezoid? No. Oh, so, yeah. no. Or an isosceles trapezoid? No. no. Diagonals are perpendicular. Is that generally true for the parallelogram? No. Is it true for a rectangle? No. Is it true for a rhombus? Yes. Is it yes. true for, yes. Is it true for a square? Yes. Squares are rhombuses, so if it's true for the rhombus, it will be true for the square. Mm -hmm. How about a kite? No. Yes. Yep, the diagonals are perpendicular in a kite. Trapezoid? No. Okay, not sure I saw some either. The diagonals are congruent in a parallelogram? No. In a rectangle? No. In a rhombus? No. Not necessarily. In a square? No. Yes. In a kite? No. In a trapezoid? No. In an isosceles trapezoid? Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh. The diagonals bisect each other. True in a parallelogram? Yes. Always yeah. true. If it's true in this parallelogram, it will be true in all my other parallelograms. Is it true for a kite? No. Nope. Is it true for a trapezoid? No. Nope. And it's true for a sausage? No. Oh, yeah, I got my own little marks here. It looks like I still don't forget anything. I think I got them. And I'm just going to erase this one because it looks like there's a check mark in there. There isn't. But uh, yeah, that's it. Now, I like this little thing. It's a good, nice reference area. So if you want to look stuff up, you can actually find it. And you can even look down to your rhombus. What's true? All these little things. You can look at it both ways. So I like the little chart for reference. Okay. Because what we want to do now is we want to give 
the most specific name for the quadrilateral. So what do I mean by that? Like what's the one that is most inclusive, the best way of naming this quadrilateral? Like I know it's a quadrilateral, but is it square? Is it a run? Like what kind? And what's the best way? So like, for example, I'm looking at this one here. I don't know what happened to CMB, but it, it, you know, we've got this quadrilateral. And I know that all the angles are congruent. That's what it's telling me. So what would be the most specific thing that describes this? Yeah. A rectangle. Why a rectangle? Yeah, because these are all congruent, and because it adds up to 360, they must all be 90. Um, why can't I say it's a square? Why can't I say it's a square? Yeah, we don't know anything about the sides or any of the other properties that might be in a square. So I think the best we can do here is say this is a rectangle. That's as good as we can get. Like I could have said parallelogram because opposite sides are congruent. That is true, but it's not the most specific name for it. So that's what I mean by most specific. What about, let's, let's see what's going on here in this quadrilateral. I see that these are perpendicular, right? So we just checked off, like we've kind of narrowed it down a little bit. What else do I know here? You got it. What else? What else we got? Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Raise our hands. Raise our hands. Janae, what do you think? Um, the angles are, are perpendicular. Right. And they're, uh, and they're, they're congruent, aren't they? And they're so what is this thing? Is it a square? Mm -hmm. Or is it a roundness? Or is it a kite? Right? Those are the things with perpendicular. Not a kite, right? I don't think it's, what is it? What is it? I think it's a rhombus. Is it a rhombus? Mm -hmm. Well, it is a rhombus. But can I be more specific? Yeah. It's a square because uh, the sense of diagonals uh, are perpendicular. It is a quadrilateral diagonal triangle and you could find the sides. Well, because so. these are congruent, right? So yeah, so he's saying these are all like little equilateral triangles, so it must be 45. So there, he's making right angles here. Another way to look at it would be to say um, they're perpendicular, so it's either the rhombus <laughs> or a square. And because my diagonals are congruent, aren't they? And that's true of a rectangle. So this is both a rhombus and a rectangle, so it's going to be a square. But I like the way you looked at it too, Christian. That was a good way to look at it as well. So uh, you know, what's the most specific thing it can be? Uh, what's going on with this guy? Ooh, what is it, Miles? Okay, tell me why. Um, there's only one pair of that are Okay, what do you guys think? Okay, so what is it? Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's what I put, and then when I was thinking about this, I'm like, I don't know if that's true. Because what the one thing I don't necessarily know, this could be a rectangle. I don't, I don't know if I have enough information to know that these are definitely not parallel, right? For this to be an isosceles trapezoid, I have to know for sure that these are not parallel. So if I'm going by the picture, if it doesn't say that it must not be true, then I think isosceles trapezoid is right. And then I was thinking about it, I'm like, I, I don't know if I'm sure. I'm not too sure about this one. It's a little bit of a tricky one. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So uh, letter D, uh, bottom of page one now. Uh, what do you think is going on here? Most specific. Most specific. Uh, everybody be thinking about this. Uh, I think I may ask my my chief participators to just hang out on this one. Let's see if somebody else can figure out. But I think they say, I don't have to answer this. All right, Brody, what do you think this is? Mm -hmm. Get me around this. Okay, okay yeah. Tell me why. Hmm. 
for that guy.
shit. Uh, uh, everybody's gotta play. Everybody's gotta play. Brody, what do you think? Yes. Why? Yes. Why? Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah. Because uh, they're all numbered inside here. Your rhombus, four right angles. That's your rectangle. Rhombus plus rectangle equals square, right? Trapezoid. I have enough information to tell this thing is a trapezoid. Do I? Do I? Okay, what do you think? Yeah. Why not? Because why? It could, right? But it doesn't look like a rectangle. Yeah, no, no, we're not. You're absolutely doing the right thing. I'm, I'm trying to like tease you a little bit. It, sort of, it looks like a trapezoid, but I don't know. I know these two things are congruent. It could be that those are congruent to that. They don't tell me anything about parallel. Nothing. So I, I don't. I would say this is we don't know. Very good. We don't know. Okay. Let's see what's going on here for this guy. Uh, letter D there. Do I know for sure that's a rhombus, Christian? What do you think? Uh, right. So what could this be instead? Could be a kite, right? I don't know. Uh, it, kites also could look like this. Is this an isosceles trapezoid? Ooh, ooh, that looks it. Uh, my hand for this one, see if you can find angle F, that might be helpful. Did you get angle F? Get angle F. What's angle F? Susie, what's angle F? 251. Oh, no, no, no. They added to 360. Yeah, I think you made a little mistake in your um, solving there. But uh, I know she knows how to do this. I think she just had a little math error there. That's okay. So, but maybe that helps us. Is this an isosceles trapezoid? You know, I'm, you know, I, um, Krita, what do you think? You don't think so? Why not? Right, like these base angles work, but these don't, right? And also, do these add up to 180 going this way? No? So now you do a trapezoid, right? It's not, it's not even a trapezoid. It doesn't tell us if it's parallel. Well, if it adds up to 180, it would be parallel because then my, right? So that would be one way to determine if it's parallel, but it's definitely not parallel. I think this one adds up to like 180. Uh, definitely not. So I'm going this way, I don't get 180. Cause sometimes I'll turn them on their side. So, no? Yes, sir? You, this one? Do I have enough to know if it's a square? Yeah. A rhombus. How come? Well, every parallelogram will bisect diagonals. Every parallelogram. What do you think about this one? It could also be a rectangle. Well, yeah, because what do we know? I know I see those four yeah, right angles. So no, it's the um, diagonal. Yeah, we don't know enough. Like we see that it's it's bisect. It makes a parallelogram. We see that it has right angles, makes it rectangle. I need some indication that it's a rhombus as well. I don't see anything. Do you? Oh, I mean, Janae, what do you want to say? Uh, well, it's closer because, because the diagonals are not equal as well. They're not, well, maybe they are. Yeah, yeah, but there's two. It's, it's showing that they're different, but if they would have just put like this little thing right here, it doesn't matter that they look different. They would still be congruent whether they say it or not. This is still true. It's just that I could have used single. But they didn't give me this. And so by not being that, I'm thinking this is the best we can do for that thing would be rectangle. So I, I don't know what's a square. I don't know what's a square. So you see how this works? This is like, it's not like it's, oh, here's some crazy formula or whatever. This is all completely your brains. And really understanding what all the characteristics are. So when you get to these you tries, uh, use the little thing in the front. Uh, you may need some of your notes from last class to just kind of really get that um, the sense of what are the characteristics are. So give these guys a try. I don't think these will take long. It's kind of like you see it or you don't see it. Because there's not a lot of calculation for most of these. So take a couple of You guys get this for A? You get rhombus for A? Yeah. Right? We know all the sides are congruent. And I don't know anything else that would make it a square. I don't know if I've got right angles, right? I, I don't know if the diagonals are congruent. I would need that kind of information to complete the square. Do you have some idea for, for letter B? Yeah, what'd you get for that one, Christian? It's a state because what's up to this? Yeah, so I've got, it's by definition, right? That's what a kite is. So that one, you know, it's not on this paper, but it was on the last paper. Definition of a kite. Two pairs of consecutive uh, congruent, opposite sides, not congruent. Definitely a kite. Absolutely.
genre. Uh, you might want to, maybe you need this. You might want to find, you know, J. That might help you for, for that one. What is, what is this value right here? Can you figure out angle J is? 78 degrees? So what's your conclusion there? Yeah. So you can bring those up to the to it because the number of sides is very low and the base is low. Okay, so these angles are congruent. If I add this, I get 180, right? So this is definitely parallel to that. But when I add this way, I don't get 180, so these sides not parallel. So definitely trapezoid, but isosceles as well because I've got um, these angles. And then the last one here, uh, Jerry, what do you think? Is there enough information to show it's a rectangle? Yes, because all the hills are counted to a rectangle parallel. The supplementary perspective and your angle is Okay. But you don't know what the side is. Okay. So basically, we can figure out this angle that it is going to also be 90. You could have done 360 minus, you know, these three 90s, or you could have said, uh, well, yeah, I guess that's what you do. So they're all 90 degrees, so a rectangle. I don't know anything about the sides, so excellent. And on that note.